Hey everyone, uh, I hope you had a great Memorial Day. I'm actually recording this from Krakow, Poland. I'm attending uh, Digital Dragons this week, which is sort of like the uh, the GDC of Eastern Europe. And um, it's, it's one of my favorite conferences to go to because Krakow is just an amazing city for one. And for two, you get to meet all these people that um, really can't just not afford to get to GDC because it's kind of a, a prohibitively expensive conference to attend, especially if you're this far away. Uh, so a bunch of people I'm always excited to see in a really cool city. In fact, um, you can see a lot of the city from my hotel window. So um, I'll do a, a quick little tour of <laughs> what I can see in Krakow here. Hang on. Okay, so over here where you see these food trucks, I'll zoom in here. Uh, that's where the actual conference is. There's food trucks there all day long, which is pretty cool. Uh, but what's more interesting than that is over here from my hotel room, you can see uh, the Wawel Royal Castle. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but if not, uh, sorry. And over here, zoom in a little bit more, uh, that spire that you see at the top is St. Mary's Basilica, which is this uh, pretty huge church in the uh, center of town uh, near Market Square. Uh, so what's interesting about that is they have um, a guy that plays the trumpet I think on the hour or something like that. And every time he plays at the very end, it, it ends with this like very abrupt upward note, um, which allegedly, according to what I've been told, has to do with like them reenacting like the, the trumpet player getting shot with an arrow. Seems hard to believe, but eh, you know, whatever. Um, I, the people of Krakow might just be pulling my legs. So, but yeah, this is, uh, this is where Digital Dragons is. It's a really, really cool spot, cool town. And everything else so all right yeah. so we've got a really great game this week for you guys to beta test uh particularly if you're curious to um see just how good a game can be if you focus on the gameplay instead of kind of like the freemium monetization mechanics that a lot of these sort of puzzle games have these days um so before we get into that uh as we mentioned every week we really appreciate your feedback on basically everything that game club's doing if you come across any bugs in the game if you have any thoughts or suggestions or just you know random feelings about what we're doing, uh, please email us at feedback at gameclub.io. Uh, you can tweet at us at gameclub, uh, or you can join our Discord server at discord.gg forward slash gameclub. That's probably the best way to, to, to give us feedback because we're pretty active in there and our community is really awesome. Uh, so it's really worth checking out even if you don't use Discord. Um, so this week's game that's up for beta testing is Dr. Splot's Nanobots. And really, it seems like the only thing uh, more rare on mobile these days than a uh, good premium puzzle game is a good premium puzzle game that actually has a really cool kind of story to it uh, instead of just being sort of like an endless thing or a level-based thing or, or whatever else. Um, so the setting of Dr. Splot's Nanobots takes place in this sort of like cartoonish future so sort of imagine uh like the magic school bus meets like weird sci-fi i guess um so in the world of dr splot's nanobots any medical malady can be solved by just injecting uh yourself with nanobots um and and the way the game sets this up is really silly like if you've got excessive ear hair or you know you're farting too much you just nanobots can fix you right up However, unfortunately, you know, like any sci-fi universe where people decide to, you know, do crazy things like inject themselves with robots, uh, things don't go as planned, the robots go bad, and it's up to you to fight the bad nanobots with these good nanobots, which kind of um, consist of your little RPG team of robots that you'll be constantly, like, swapping out with better guys and, and customizing your team as, as you see fit. So um, that's really cool. Um, and also as part of the adventure, you know, you're tracking down this, the secret identity of Dr. Splot and there's all this other stuff that goes into it that I don't want to spoil because it's really cool to have a, a actual meaningful story component in a game like this. Um, so uh, kind of what I'm starting to get into is, um, what I like so much about this game is not only the setting and the, and the music premise, but the, uh, match to battle kind of RPG mechanic that is used in a lot of the, um, kind of like more popular super freemium puzzle games is actually really good if you just hone in on that core gameplay element uh, without all the uh, crazy monetization aspects that you know just kind of make these games a grind. Um, so Dr. Splot still has that kind of collection component that makes a lot of these games tick, but 
Um, the difference is this time around, it really feels like part of the core gameplay that, that makes the game fun uh, and gives you kind of like a sense of progression instead of just feeling like this uh, endless sort of gotcha grind with uh, unlimited spending potential like a lot of these other games that, that do this. Um, so I really hope you enjoy Dr. Splice. It's, it's really cool. It's really fun. Um, I, I, think, I think you guys will really like it. Uh, so next up is a game that, in my opinion, needs almost no introduction, and uh, that is Space Miner. Um, this game, I would say, if, if you ask anyone that was uh, kind of like around for the early days of iOS gaming when like premium games were like really operating on all cylinders, um, Space Miner is going to be somewhere in their top 10 favorites, I'm almost guaranteed. Uh, so the way that Space Miner works, just, just real quick, uh, there'll be way more info on this game uh, next week because I can just go forever talking about Space Miner. But um, you uh, just imagine the game of asteroids was sort of just like cranked up to 11 with uh, instead of just mindlessly blasting asteroids, there's a purpose to everything. Like you're getting uh, money for mining these asteroids, which you then turn into endless uh, ship customization and... Um, kind of like a bunch of different upgrades you can do. And there's this whole story surrounding like saving this scrappy mining operation from these corporate overlords. They're just trying to buy the whole universe and uh, all this other silly stuff. So it's, it's really hard to overstate how good Space Miner is. I'm, I'm super excited for it. So um, again, thanks so much for your participation in the Game Club Early Access Program. Uh, all the links to um, Dr. Splat's Nanobots as well as all the other games that we've released will be in the description of this video or in your inbox if you're subscribed to uh, our, our mailers, which if you're not, you can go to gameclub.io and subscribe. Uh, if you've missed any of the previous betas, uh, as I mentioned, they're in the description of this video, or you can always go to gameclub.io slash beta, which is a little easier to send around to friends and family or other people that you think might be interested. And um, I guess that's about it. Be sure to check out our Discord. Uh, as I mentioned, discord.gg forward slash game club uh, with any suggestions, comments, or anything else. And I hope you enjoy Dr. Spots, and we'll see you next week with Space Miner.